an attempt to promote his music outside the shores of Africa, Whiskey fell for the whims and schemes of Disturbing London, an artist management company he now refers to as a criminal organization. It's been two years since he left the company and called out its owners, Dumi Oborota and British rapper Tiny Temper, on social media, but it appears Whiskey is still on the hunt for them. On November 26, 2020, Whiskey caused a stare on social media when he took to Snapchat to say he's looking for Dumi Oborota and Tiny Temper. Implying they swing both ways, Whiskey made it known that he's given them 48 hours to pay up all they owe him. This is not the first time the Made in Lagos crew now will be calling out the company as he did in 2018. Whiskey had signed a management deal with Disturbing London in 2012 and his music career appeared to be flourishing under them. He won several multi-million dollar deals with global brands and sold out many shows both home and abroad under the management of this company. He also was with Tiny Temper and Dumi Oborota when he walked the runway for a designer brand Doji and Gabbana at the men's Fashion Week in Milan. This is also not forgetting that Whiskey featured on Tiny Temper's hit single, Mamacita. Yes, Whiskey appeared to have grown under their management until they fell out in 2018 over reports that he was being extorted financially by them. Well, Whiskey has reignited the feud with Disturbing London, causing many Nigerians to wonder what must have transpired between them. So, let's dive right into the full details about Disturbing London, its founders and of course, the reason for the feud between Starboy Whiskey and Disturbing London. Hello guys, it's Tickled here for African Glit. Without a doubt, Whiskey is one of the biggest acts to come out of Nigeria and Africa. Although he rose to prominence in 2009 after releasing Ola at Your Boy, the lead single of his first studio album titled Starboy, Whiskey has since moved on to achieve international recognition. Its songs like Jaye Jaye, Ojoelegba, Soko, Come Closer, and One Dance, singles he did with American singer Drake, all helped to cement his place in the global music industry. He has gone on tours with international acts like Chris Brown and Tiny Temper, and even collaborated with Angeliki Kijo and later Beyonce on their hit single Brown Skin Girl. Apart from the numerous awards Starboy has won, is the first Nigerian artist to make it to the Billboard Twitter 24 Hours chart and later. Billboard Hot 100 chart. Come Closer equally picked number one in 15 countries including Australia, UK, US and Canada. This is not mentioned in the multi-million dollar deals he has signed in his career. Trust me, only a few Nigerian artists can boast of this feat. Even Odogu put some respect to his name, no shades intended. However, it appears Whiskey made a grave mistake early in his career despite how big his music career grew over the years. Yes, we are talking about the management deal he signed with Disturbing London in 2012. Whiskey signed with them to promote his sound to a larger audience, especially in the US and UK, as it is the wish of every artist to be world famous. His relationship with the owners appears to have been built on trust, friendship and their African connection, so nothing was fishy about the deal. During the six years it was signed under the management company, it appears they fulfilled their side of the bargain as Whiskey's career grew bigger than expected. Yes, Starboy became world famous and got even richer. But it appears Disturbing London was using him as their cash cow while disguising to be helping his promising career. Disturbing London Disturbing London is a UK-based artist management firm owned by Dumi Oborota and British Nigerian rapper Patrick Chukwemeka Okogu, professionally known as Tiny Temper. Dumi is a fashion and music mogul. He won the Black British Business Entrepreneur of the Year Award in 2006. Reports have it that he and Tiny Temper are cousins. Apart from managing Whiskey, the company manages Tiny Temper himself, Jay Wanna, Young Bane, DJ Chelsea, and Youngen. The Genesis of the Feud Whiskey first tipped off suspicion that all is not right between him and Disturbing London when he deliberately began to ditch certain gigs on international stages booked by Disturbing London. He first ditched Coachella. Jay-Z made in America concert and later Afropunk Paris, raising many eyebrows. This was just his way of sending a subtle message to Disturbing London that he wanted out of the deal. 
However, on June 23, 2018, Whiskey took the bull by the arm when he went to Twitter to advise young Nigerian talent not to do business with Disturbing London. In his tweet, he said, Don't do business with Disturbing London kids. Criminal organization. He then followed it up with another tweet where he quoted a line from his song with Skepta, Bad Energy. His tweet which read, Bad Energy Stay Far Away, was assumed to be a shade on disturbing London owners. This came as a shock to many as Whiskey is known to avoid social media drama. But certainly, it made many believe Whiskey was being defrauded. The only problem was the puzzle wasn't complete. Well, it won't be long before Rennie and OVA completed the puzzle in one of their Maths 8 podcasts. According to Rennie, who claimed to have gathered factual information from a source, he noted that Whiskey's problem with disturbing London started after his sold out show at the Royal Albert Hall, London. The show allegedly saw Whiskey run into huge losses because disturbing London costed everything even to his Uber expenses. All these expenses were cut out from the profit made from the show, leaving Whiskey with almost nothing. Again, Whiskey allegedly got nothing from the gig he had with Nike. Initially, it was told by Disturbing London that the gig was free, but he would later discover that Disturbing London was reportedly paid £250,000 for it. The straw that finally broke the camel's back was when Whiskey got nothing from his sold out Afro Republic show. The concert reportedly sold 20,000 tickets, but Disturbing London gave him nothing over the exorbitant costs they spent to put the show together. There could be more shady deals that saw Whiskey being financially extorted by Disturbing London, but that's up to Whiskey to reveal now that he has reignited his feud with the company. How are Whiskey fans reacting? They all can't believe that Dumi and Tiny Temper have been benefiting from all the love and support they show Whiskey. Yes, since Whiskey made the post about the disturbing London founders, his fans have been dragging them with some thinking out loud why the company still exists. Nigerians, especially Whiskey fans, also look forward to boycotting any show organized or promoted by disturbing London. And there you have it. Meanwhile, if you're ever asked to give a good example of this phrase, monkey they walk, baboon they chop, whiskey and disturbing London case it is. Do you think disturbing London used whiskey as their cash cow? If they are, how much do you think disturbing London might be owing whiskey? Just take a wild guess. Also, would you advise whiskey to take legal action against them to recover his money? Let us know what you think in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and share. Don't forget to check out our channel for more interesting African stories and news we know you'll like. Subscribe to get notifications whenever we drop a new juicy video to keep you updated. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.